Well, I did it. So on my channel, I have opened up packages that I've received from other people. Um, at first, it was one of my previous coworkers, so like one of my friends that I knew in real life. Um, I recently opened up that package from Samantha, who is my cousin. And I've also received a couple packages from a lovely subscriber of mine, Diane. Thank you again for both of the packages that you've sent me in the past. I really, really appreciate it. I've been getting a lot of comments, especially on those videos in particular, but also messages on Instagram of people asking to send me things and if I have like an address that I can give them and stuff like that and I didn't know if I just wanted to start you know giving up my address online <laughs> but enough people have now asked to send me things that I figured you know what I might as well open up a post office box and have that available in case anybody does want to send me stuff uh, especially if they want me to open it on camera for a video for my YouTube channel so I decided to open a mailbox and just a secure place where I can have people ship things to. That way it's not sitting outside in front of my house and it doesn't get wet from the rain or stolen or something like that. Um, you know, something that is secure. Basically an address that you can ship things to if that's something that you wanted to do. If you are one of the people that have wanted to ship me something, here is the address on the screen. It has to be done exactly like this. So you're going to put my name at the top and you can put Chad Marcus or Chad Marcus marvelous I don't really care which um, but it has to be this format so it says 7889 Lichen Drive number 200 Citrus Heights California 95621 now I have to stress the format of the address like the first line it's like a house address so basically or a physical address it's the 7889 Lichen Drive number sign or the hashtag 200 200 you do not want to put box number or PO box do not put that uh, the reason why is if you do the post office will probably return your package to you and I won't even know you tried to send anything so it has to be this exact format and that will work I will also be putting this address down in the description of this video but also on my community page on my YouTube channel and I'm going to leave it there so if you forget the address or something like that you can always come back and find it there on my community page or just come back to this video again. That being said, if you do end up sending me things, uh, two things that I request of you <laughs> is, um, first of all, um, please, if you remember, let me know that something is coming my way because I'm new to having a PO box or a mailbox. I keep calling it a PO box because it's out of habit, um, but I, I'm new to having a separate address where I'm gonna have to go pick up mail somewhere and um, I don't wanna forget or anything or leave it there. So like, let me know if something is coming and you can obviously comment on one of my videos like this video or uh, message me directly on Instagram. That way I know to expect something in like a a couple weeks or whenever, you know, however long it takes for shipping. Um, the other thing is, if you do send me something, please let me know if it's okay to open it on camera or and or say your name on camera, um, because some people don't. Some people do not want their package opened on camera or their letters opened on camera or read aloud on camera. Uh, and some people don't even want their names to be mentioned on camera. And I am totally fine with that. I just want to make sure I'm respecting everybody's wishes. So if you do send me something, either like include in your in a letter with within the envelope or the package or whatever you're sending me to let me know if it's okay to open on camera and to, if it's okay to say your name or what name you would like me to use if you prefer not to use your real name but if you want me to use like your instagram handle or something like that uh or your youtube name or something like that let me know that and you can either let me know by messaging me on instagram or like i said just put a letter in with whatever it is that you're sending me just to let me know uh to make sure that i don't mess up and accidentally say somebody's name 
on camera if that's not something you wanted. And I know most of you, if you were planning on sending me something, are totally fine with it, with me both opening on camera and also saying your name. Uh, but I just wanted to put that out there because I know that there are some people who are not okay with it. Now, it has taken me a while to open this P.O. box or th this mailbox, uh, and there's three main reasons why. Um, mostly it's laziness because I had to do a little bit of research, uh, look at pricing, look at like unit size and everything like that, and um, determine if it was worth it for like how, the cost and everything. Uh, and if I needed to get a larger size mailbox to receive larger packages or just how that would, there's a whole thing behind it. Um, but anyway, the other two reasons, one was because um, guilt, I kind of felt guilty when people started saying, hey, I want to send you things. It's like, you know, the pe random people that I don't know, like, okay, let me take a step back. YouTubers tend to have a thing called a parasocial relationship with their viewers. And essentially what it means is that you watch my videos and if you watch my videos, you start to get to know me a little bit, or at least part of me, um, or a version of me, I guess, that you kind of, you know, get through my videos. But I don't know any of you. Like you, right now I'm looking at, I'm literally looking at a camera like, just to remind people, here's a mirror, there there you are, that's what I see. <laughs> I'm looking at a camera, I'm not actually looking at your faces, so I don't really know any of you. And um, so it, it's kind of a weird thing for me to start accepting gifts from random people, and it's in a way that I'm not really able to reciprocate. I'm not able to like send gifts back necessarily, or I, I don't know, I, I am not able to like thank you in person, um, you know, especially if you're in another country. <laughs> Um, so there's there's a little bit of that and it's that weird like mental guilt that people have with accepting gifts and stuff like that in general. I think it's a, psych a psychology thing. Did I say that word right? Psychology? That's it. Uh, it's, a, it's a psychological thing. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Um, so there is a little bit of that. Um, and, you know, I feel bad accepting gifts and stuff like that. I'm very grateful for anybody who has expressed the want to send me something, but um, I just kind of felt weird accepting gifts. The other thing is I don't ever want to come across like I am asking people to send me things. Like, I don't want anybody to feel obligated to send me anything at all. Uh, and I've said this in my other videos where I've received packages, but I just don't want anybody thinking that I'm like asking for things because I'm definitely not. Like, please don't feel obligated to send me stuff just by watching my videos, clicking like, leaving a little comment. That is like the best way to support me. And, you know, it makes me happy. So, uh, you know, like I, I don't want that to feel like an obligation at all. Along with that, I do have to admit that the other reason why is, uh, you know, like I was afraid of accepting like free gifts or whatever from people because especially recently in the doll community, I've seen a lot of like hate and bullying towards YouTubers who receive free things in the mail. Like in comment sections on Facebook groups and stuff like that for doll collectors, people have been getting intense. And like, I was worried that if I started accepting free stuff from people that I might be a target for that hate or that bullying or whatever. Um, so that was something that crossed my mind. And um, that's why I was just like, I want to make it very clear. I'm not asking for anything. I'm not asking or requesting or expecting people to send me anything. For all I know, I'm paying for this P.O. box and it's going to sit there for a year and I'm not going to receive anything. And that's OK. It, the only reason I'm opening this is purely because some of you have asked me to send me things and this is a way to do that. Now I know that a lot of the situations where like the hate and like the comments and stuff like that that I'm talking about are more frustration at the companies that are sending out PR to YouTubers, like especially for like Mattel with the Skelector series or MGA with some of like the Rainbow High stuff, um, just because of like, item scarcity or like, you know, with the Skelector dolls, it's like really hard to get your hands on them because of the way Mattel Creations does their website and stuff like that. I get it. I know that like that's where the frustration actually is. Um, but 
a lot of the YouTubers who receive this stuff, which by the way, they don't know they're getting it a lot of times until it shows up at their door. But a lot of those YouTubers are getting the backlash or they're, you know, people are taking their frustration out on them. And I was worried that if I started accepting free stuff, that that would be a thing, that people would start doing that. To be clear, I'm not receiving PR or anything like that. I'm nowhere near as big as some of these other YouTubers that um, are even, I'm not even on any company's radar or any, I've never been like approached or anything like that. I'm just using that as an example. And I do know that most of it is like for PR packages, not from things that their subscribers have sent them. But still, you know, receiving free stuff, I just didn't want people to get or to like you know have any like negative thoughts about about it or saying that i'm greedy or i don't know i don't know what i was worried about but i was it, it was a thing i was worried about it so there was a little bit of guilt attached to like allowing people to send me th that sounds so weird to say but it it i don't know it just i i felt weird about it. And I finally got over that when I realized there are some other YouTubers that I specifically watch for their mail opening videos from their subscribers. Like there's the first one that pops in my mind, for example, is April Lily. Unfortunately, she's no longer making YouTube videos, but I'll still put her uh, a link to her channel down below if you want to check out her, her channel. But I remember finding her and subscribing to her specifically for her mail opening videos because I enjoyed watching them. And I thought it was so cool that one of her subscribers sent a package and it has all these things in it. And, you know, she's going through and finding all these like uh, vintage dolls or whatever, you know, whatever it was that she got in her package. And I just remember thinking, I want to do that. I want to like put a package together and send her stuff because it'd be so cool to watch her open the package that I sent her um, and stuff like that. So then I, I was like, okay, wait, <laughs> I get it. That's that's basically where you all are coming from. Anybody who's, who has asked to send me something, I like I'm starting to understand now and I don't feel as weird about it because it's like I was that person, you know, on the other end of that, uh, wanting to send things to some YouTubers that I watched. At the end of the day, enough of you specifically messaged me directly, especially like on Instagram saying that you had stuff that you would like me to open on camera. And I decided I was doing this for you. Like anybody who specifically asked to send me anything, that's why I'm opening this box. Like I said, I'm not requesting anything. I'm not asking people to send me stuff. Um, I am just opening this as a way for people to send me stuff who have asked to send me stuff. And, um, you know, this way it's a, a, a nice secure way to make sure your package doesn't get stolen and everything. Um, but in this way I can put an address on my YouTube page for people to have access to. Anyway, that's going to be enough of it. I talk a lot. I mean, give me a topic and I will literally ramble about nothing for a really long time, which I've actually been thinking of like starting a series on my channel of just like a vlog where like I start with a topic and just talk about literally nothing or <laughs> whatever comes into my my brain. Um, if that's something that you'd be interested in watching where I'm not necessarily like reviewing anything, I know because like pr most of you are here for my doll reviews, but um, if you'd be interested in watching like vlogs or other types of videos like that where I'm literally just talking about whatever, let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd enjoy because I can talk a lot. <laughs> Give me a topic and I'll just go. <laughs> and it's like, I was thinking of doing that for live streams as well because I really enjoy doing the live streams, but uh, the live stream conversation kind of is dominated by the comment section, which is totally fine. But that kind of like, like this is something different. I'm talking about like a legitimate like vlog or just literally like this where I'm just talking at the camera about whatever topic I feel like talking about for a while. But I don't know, let me know if anybody would actually even watch that. <laughs> Leave a comment. But anyway, I should get going for right now because I still have to film this week's videos. I put a poll on Instagram, by the way, and um, had you guys vote on this week's theme. And it was a close one, but you guys picked 90s Vintage Barbie. So uh, that's going to be coming up this week. I've got two videos and um, they're probably going to be short videos, which is going to be a nice relief from last week doing Disney Ill week that this has been that was a long week <laughs> even more so than when I did the uh, the 24 days of Christmas because the 24 days of Christmas were short and easy to edit the early videos were like my normal really long in-depth reviews so um, anyway I'm looking forward to that and I'm also looking forward to playing with some dolls that I wanted when I was a kid so <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to get going for right now, but the what? <laughs> I'm going to get going for right now, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye! If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. 
I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.